Copy Roger, Ted for it. Copy that. Out. Today's going to be a great video today, guys. I, I'm doing the skulls and the... Uh, I forget what I was going to say. And I got a couple things in the mail. So make sure you stick around till the end of the video. Hi, Liz. <laughs> Okay, guys, it's now the next day. Um, I've been thinking about this um, uh, Grim Reaper overnight. I'm not too sure if I like it too much. The wings are not bad. I like the flames. I just don't know if I like this guy too much. It might be a little bit too thick. Maybe I need to turn up. Maybe I need to thin out that arm there or something. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. But before I get started with this video, I want to give a few shout outs to some uh, new members of the uh, Carving Fusion membership thing. Um, so you can be members of this and get special videos when I figure out how to do it. I will be doing it soon, guys. Okay, so you got Danielle Henry, Kimberly Chestian. Sorry, I'm terrible. It's chest, Chestian, Chestian. Good old Tucker, Luan Tucker. Thank you, Frank Meyer. Thanks, Frank. David Clark. Thanks, everybody, for the membership um, things and um. Here's a real big special shout out to someone that um, gives lots of super chats in my uh, live feed, and he's real an active uh, member on the Carving Fusion uh, on Facebook, World of uh, Carving Fusion, World of Wood Carvers, the group we have there. He's a real uh, great acting member there, and he's just set up a whole studio in his garage for carving, and it's he did a real great job. And his name is George Ram. George Ramonovich, George, George Ramonovich, sorry George, I know your name is George, I'm just terrible with spelling guys, George Ramonovich, and he's in San, San, San Antonio, Texas, thanks for everything you do George, I really appreciate it, and um, you're a great guy, and your carvings are sure coming a long way bud, thank you, and thanks everybody, I really do appreciate it, okay, so now on to um, carving here, Oh, and for the members of the group, don't worry, I will be making some videos. But I just have to figure out how to do it. So I said I'm going to make ghosts. I'm going to make like uh, spirit lines and stuff up here. Just like my normal kind of way I do my spirit lines. And I'll be doing some ghost skulls in there. So I got this piece of the, it's an extra piece of this wood that I cut off. This is a western red cedar burl slab. It's about an inch and a half thick some parts. But I figured I'll try it on this instead of trying it on here and ruining this piece, right? So maybe this is even going to be the better half of the piece. Who knows? If I can't fix that guy up and put his sheath or whatever it's called in there. God, people were telling me in the last video what it's called. And freaking, I don't care. It's a tool to chop people's heads off. That's what it's for. Okay? So anyways, we're cut. Hey, let's try it out on this piece. Okay guys, so this is the piece of cedar here. So let's just make some uh, pretend lines in this piece here. You know, we all have those pretend friends in our head, you know, the imaginary friends. Tell us to do weird shit. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't have them, but maybe all you guys have those pretend friends in your head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's probably me that has them. Sorry, guys, not you, me. Okay, so we got this these lines on here. We're not going to do too much practicing on this because we got to move along with the carving. So, but anyways, guys, this is my Fordham. I run the SR series, okay, the blue series, the Fordham SR series. This is the industrial flex shaft, okay? You can see. I have videos on Fordhams on my um on my uh. Uh, playlists okay so you can get hand pieces like this for it this is the quarter inch okay or you can get smaller hand pieces that hold the um one eighth inch and i suggest when you when you switch over to the industrial flex shaft the square this is the square drive one you have to buy the hand piece too it's not like you get it in a package you have to buy the new the new square drive industrial flex shaft and you have to buy the hand piece okay 
because you can see here the drive this is square not like the other key drive okay and this is what it's like it's a lot thicker and I, I never break these anymore since I since I upgraded to the industrial model okay so what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna cut along the lines and make some big ridges like so it's kind of like you know so then we can put our ghost skulls I don't even know how this is gonna work out okay so let's get this going here okay also guys I want to say this is a cut saw quarter inch extreme flame burr okay the shank is quarter inch this is the normal flame burr that I, I usually go to Look how much bigger this one is, right? If you want to get to the cuts all link, go to the description below, use the code CFUSION, you'll save yourself 5% or maybe even 10% if you're a new time buyer. I'm not too sure how it works, but you'll save at least 5%, okay? So this thing really can bounce inside here. So you gotta take it really easy when you use this tool, guys. I use all my carvers on foot pedals too, okay? Like this pack, the Fordham package comes with a foot pedal. The best foot pedals, in my opinion, are also the Fordhams too. So let's just cut these lines in here. You see how I don't, uh, I pull it fast, I don't go too slow because watch. I'll go slow and you'll see it get stuck in there and that's when it will bounce and it will make, it will ruin my, your nice lines here, okay? See, it just did it. See, it just did it. See? So it's best to pull it fast. Now you see when it's chamfering, or whatever it's called, when it shakes, it makes those cut, cut lines. It's because you're going too slow and you're getting too deep in the, into the channel, right? So let's just kind of feather this out a bit, this side. Then you go back and cut it deeper. Then you go back and feather it. See that? See how it did that? They push too hard and it's getting too deep. See how I drop it? Okay, watch how I put watch how I use this, how I continue it. I start it, I run it, and then I I bring it across, watch. It's running when I hit it and I'm already pulling. Okay. So now let's hook up our uh, smaller Dremel piece and do some ghost skulls. Okay guys, so, hmm, so skulls have two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. So let's see here. I did a big one with my chainsaw uh, and my, I call it just like ghost skulls, they're going in the wind, right? So let's see here. There's one eye, there's two eyes, there's nose. And the mouth. So don't make it look like a smiley face. Okay, so uh, two eyes like this, like demon eyes, two little nostrils, 
So let's try those two. I'm using this cut saw. It's got a coarse, it's got a, it's a reverse cone bit. It's not the extreme. It's got a pointier tip. So let's try this. Okay, so here you can see, I mean, you see that took like two minutes or five minutes or whatever to do. So, but this one looks the best so far. You know, I do believe that this is just a little bit too, um, this tip's a little bit too, too wide. So I will be switching over to a diamond burr, I believe, or a tip with a, or a burr that has a smaller tip. So I can do smaller noses, right? Because those, those noses are just a bit too big. But you see, they just kind of look like demons and stuff like that. So anyways um this one's kind of deformed but it's okay because we'll be staining this right so and you see how i just kind of make the wind kind of just come off of it like this one so you make it all continuous guys right see how i make the wind come from below this one and then i leave the, leave it on the forehead so anyways that's what i'm going to do next i'm going to pull out the piece and i'm going to get the big one done and get all out done I don't think I need to film it. Maybe I'll stop if I think there's a key point that I need to explain what I'm doing or something. There's something that can teach somebody, and I'll get that done. See you in, uh, see you in, see you next year. Okay, so when I was just switching out to my uh, big normal carving from that template, um, I noticed my dad was outside bringing my stepladder back. He borrows my stepladder once in a while, so um, I noticed there was a box out there. Oh yes, guess what this guy is. This is, guys, it's got two batteries in it, got three batteries in it. It's my drone, the Mavic Mini.
Oh yeah, so maybe I should stop carving today. It doesn't seem too windy outside. Maybe I should go fly it and learn and crash it and waste all this money. Jordy Waste, guys. Jordy Waste. Here's a shout out to my good friend, Evil Evil Rick. He gave me some tips about these drones, guys, and he's going to be uh he's going to be a special kind of admin on the live chat so no trolls or nothing can come in um in the live chat or sex bots or whatever. Are the sex bots real though, Evil Rick? Are those sex bots real? Like are they robots that want to have sex with you? Anyways, here's uh we'll be making some videos on this. Oh yeah. Jordy Waste, Jordy Waste. Okay, so here's what we got so far. Okay, I know those skulls kind of look funny right now, but there's like I said guys are just skull skulls some have bottom jaws some don't Okay, so when I was carving this I carved too deep right here and I went right through it So I did originally want to carve this right out and make it so you'd see the tips of the wings Like with negative space and the tips of the wings would stick out with the negative space But since I carved this little piece out I did here, here, and then I carved out behind there too. See? It's all hollow back there. I did carve a little bit too deep through his face, but that's okay. I thought about just ho sorry. I thought about just hollowing it out right out. But I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do an epoxy pour in the face. Probably like a red or black. I'm still debating what colors to go with this. I know this guy's gotta be like black and gray, okay? But the flames and the, the ghost skulls and the wind up and stuff, like you see how it kind of goes? With the wind, wind lines, the spirit lines. I think I might do the flames, dye the flames red and the, the dye the skulls red. And maybe then just do a black overcoat or a gray overcoat um, of all this stuff so you get the red and gray in there. I'm just not too sure at this point. Also, I'm really confused about what to do with uh, wings. Because, <clears throat> excuse me, because I didn't have enough points on, I didn't leave enough points on the wings to make like, you know, like you'd see like a uh, kind of like, a, let's see here. Uh, well, I don't know. You'd see like, like horns on the end of the wings. Let's see here. Excuse me, guys. You'd kind of see like cut that. And then this would be like a kind of like a horn tooth thing on there. So, but this one's not a very sharp point. So, and then down here too. So I might try to put one of those claw two things in there. Could be like a dragon's horn or something in each, the bottom and the top. But I just don't know what to do for the, like all the rest of inside the wings, you know. So, uh, just let me get it figured out and we'll, we'll see what happens, I guess. Who knows? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Jordy Waste, Jordy Waste, uh oh. I won't be doing a review on this uh, Maverick Mini, but I ordered the uh, set with the um, three batteries and uh, propeller protector and all that stuff. So, but I will be doing some uh, uh, first flight video. I can't do a review of this because this is my first time uh, flying one of these and I'm going to crash it. I just know it. How you doing, Jordy? Oh, I'm pretty good just sitting here with my cat, Lee, and uh, my... So a little pumpkin just carved Rob made me. Sit beside the karma sign for all the haters. Yep, with the big bad hater right there with the silly little beard thing. All right, later. So, um, here it is, guys. This is what I got so far. This is going to be the end of the carving video for this because I can't, I got to think about, think about what I'm going to do inside the wings here. You can see if I got those claw things on there, top and bottom. There's one there too, it's hard to see. Okay, this has been a lot of depth in this carving, guys. But I just can't figure out what I want to do with these wings. Inside the wings, you can see they got the lip on them now, right? 
but I just can't figure out what I want to do inside the wings. If uh, I'd love to hear the suggestions in the comments below. I, I try my best to reply to all the comments. Um, you guys don't forget about our live feed every Thursday, 5 o'clock Pacific time. I'm in British Columbia, Canada, a place called Delta, a town called Ladner. Um, so yeah, that's what we got so far, guys. I, there's still a lot more work to do on this. You know, I got to cut this bottom with this bottom piece off. That will take a few minutes, but I got to figure out how I want to cut it off. Um, I still got to make his goddamn chop header off thing. And um, let's see, what else I got to do? Yeah, I got to stain it and dye it and figure out what, I, what colors I want to use. So there's still a lot more to go. So I'm not 100% if I'm going to be able to get to it tomorrow. But it will be this week when I finish this piece off. And what, what are we at? We're at, uh, I forget, even forget the date right now. So uh, I don't even know what, I mean, it's June, like, 3rd or something. And I got one more thing in the mail today, and I want to just do a, I just do want to do a quick uh, unboxing. It's from my great, one of my best friends from YouTube, Liz. So let's do an unboxing of that. So you guys, I'd love to read the comments on what you think I should finish everything with, what I should put inside the wings, and whatever. And just let it stand up and hold this piece so you guys can actually see the real depth inside of it, right? Like those wings. Undercuts are huge on a piece like this, guys. See how I undercut those wings? And you can bring your spirit lines from out underneath, and you don't see the stops and starts. Okay. What to put in the wings. I'd love to read your guys' uh, suggestions. I really would. I'm going to have to think about this for a day or two. Overnight. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Okay, guys. This is the box. What a great day. A bunch of two different gifts today. Well, not gifts. I had to buy that uh, drone thing. So, Liz Atkin. And she's in uh, Roseburg. I think the town's Roseburg. But she's in Oregon, guys. So, um, hey Liz, I remember you doing your unboxing, you had this big, like, uh, big hunter's, like, a uh, folding switchblade knife. Look at this knife, I'm going to open this sucker. Can you beat that one, Liz? Oh yeah, genuine steak cutting knife. I, I don't know, I think I might have got it from the dollar store. Okay, so let's open the sucker up. <laughs> oh Liz, I also hid your address, so you only owe me $40 billion for that. Okay, so anyways, let's get this thing opened up. No more games. Okay, so... Let's get a sucker in there. What are you talking about? I put too much tape on my packaging list. Okay. Just how we do it at Carving Fusion. Okay, so, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, fun and games. Tell you, wreck the present Liz sent you. Oh, what's this? Obviously, you, she used a. Uh, Recycle the Amazon box. Good job, Liz. Way to recycle. I know you're a Prime member now. Okay, so what's inside the Prime box? This is where I should probably take my time. It's a box inside a box inside a box, Liz. Would you look at that? Look what Liz got me. She got me a Master Carver Micro Carver Pro. Holy Liz, this is the greatest day of my life. I just had to have one. How'd you know? Just Carve Rob just kind of gloats about his and he knows tools. He says it's great so far for him. So I had to have one. But how did you know Liz? Okay, so let's open the last box.
for my friend. Okay, well, we'll just read this later. So, here it is. Here is the Master Carver. I'm not going to do a review on this, guys. I'm just going to use it. Oh, it's, it's actually pretty heavy. It's got some weight to it. Um, Studio on the Lake uses these carvers, guys, and just carved Rob got this, so he is showing how he had his, so I had to, I figured I had to get one too, because I was just kind of, well, you know, the word's jealous, because he, he goes on about how much he loves his, so I thought I'd try it out too. Well, there's a special little gift in here. It's a wood spirit rock. Nice autograph Liz nice signature nice signature LA that's cool Liz thank you and I love it did you do it with this micro motor maybe you said something in the message holy cow I can't believe you bought this for me and I can't believe you made this for me I love it good job Maybe you'll say in the wood, let's do a spit test, guys. Hmm, maybe this is fossilized uh, rock, you know, like that uh, tree. Good job, Liz. You're sure getting good at your carvings. You sure are. Took the forehead back, you put the, put, took the bridge of the nose back. You feathered away beneath the nose, nice and nice like an uphill, top of the hill, down of the hill. Good job. I love it. Thanks, Liz. And I love you. I really do. Okay, so, um, here's, uh, the, what the hell? I didn't get a side holder for this thing. Oh, yeah, here it is. That's what made me want to buy it. Is because this is, this is what sold me to it. Okay, guys. Uh, what are these? These are extra brushes. You don't want to lose these guys. These aren't these aren't brushless. Those are the brushes right there. And where's my little extra collet? To fit uh, because this is for one eighth and it should fit the smaller size too. I don't know if I got the extra collet with it. Maybe I already lost it. Okay, well I'll go through that later and I'll try and find it. Maybe just grab Rob will know. And um, yeah, but this is why I bought it because look, it's a friggin' It's a holder for your handpiece. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I think I already spilt the beans about this uh, Master Carver Pro Carver thing. I, I paid for it. I, I paid Liz to, to buy it for me on her Amazon because it would just have cost me too much money to buy it for my Amazon Prime. It would have cost me like 700 bucks. But this is $200, uh, $200 American, okay? You got to make sure you get the one that says Pro. Just like, just watch Just Carve Rob's channel. He uses this all the time. So I'll be switching between this and this. But I just want to say, thanks for doing that for me, Liz. And you know, this really means a lot to me, this little guy. I'm going to put him in my bedroom. And you just did a great job. You know, guys, I... I Getting stuff like this, it's, um, I do make money on YouTube, not a lot, I, st I still need to go to work after this virus stuff's all done, but the YouTube's helping me be able to get tools like this to show you guys the good tools and the bad tools, like the good, the bad, and the ugly. This kind of was like out of my own pocket, but YouTube definitely paid for this, so I can show you guys if, my opinion, just kind of Rob has his opinion on it, but I'll have my opinions because, you know, you know, guys, I am the true heavy hands. You know what I mean? I'm good at breaking shit. So, but as I'm progressing in my carving, I'm not becoming so heavy hands. Like I haven't broke a flex shaft in, I'd say a good couple months. I'm still using this one rotary tool, guys. It's done me like six carvings. It's not bad. It's a cheaper rotary tool hooked up to the Dremel flex shaft. So when I do make money on YouTube, I reinvest it because it's what my channel is about. It's not about carving, really. It's about the tools to help you save money, right?
You know what I mean? I, I bought this because I think it will be fun if I don't break it on the first flight for my beachcombing videos so you can guys can get an aerial view of the whole area. Because Vancouver, British Columbia, where I'm from, is one of the most beautiful places in the world. And I'm not just saying that because I live here. Like, it is. It's You got the mountains to the ocean, right? So anyways, enough of me bullshit talking. Let's uh, read this letter that Liz wrote. I can't, you write like a doctor, Liz. It's hard to read. Just kidding. Okay. So here you go. Your micro carver. It's pretty cool. I wasn't going to try it. I told I, you guys, I made her use it for a couple days to see what she thought of it. I wasn't going to try it because I was afraid I wouldn't be able to put it back in the box, but I did. And close is a little something I carved and I wanted you to have it. He makes me think of Jesus. What a day, what a day to get this. Is that Jesus, guys? Could be. We all have our different looking Jesus, just like we all have our different looking Grim Reapers, right? He makes me think of Jesus, so I'm sending Jesus to watch over you. Thanks, Liz. I'm going to put it in my back um, headboard, so when I'm sleeping, I will, I'll wake up the next day. Thank you, Jordy, for all you do for all of us. And thank you for your friendship. Sincerely, Liz. Thanks, Liz. It really means a lot to me. And thanks, everybody else. Not for a second in my life did I ever think that I'd have a YouTube channel showing tools like this and drones. And it's not going to be a drone channel, guy, but guys, but did I ever think that I'd have a... YouTube channel carving, talking about haters, karma, carving fusion, you know, special friends carving things for me like Just Carve Rob. This is one of the first gifts that I got from one of my subscribers. Check out his channel, guys, Just Carve Rob. And Liz, thank you. Thank you for doing that for me, Liz. And thank you, everybody else. And once again, uh, welcome the new members of Carving Fusion. And thank you for signing up too. It helps me get things like this to show in the videos. Don't worry about it, Jess Carve Rob. I found the call it. <laughs> Don't know if I'll ever use it though, but it'll just fit back here. Little call it spot. Bye.